In this lecture, we'll learn how to simulate fitting. So remember that we have learned how to fit a model to our data set. However, you can also do it the other way around. In origin, you can rather simulate a fitting and get the data point out of it. So to do that, you only have to come to analysis and fitting and you see simulate curve. So select simulate curve and you have the preview and it says generate curve data with specified fitting function. So let's say we want to do a polynomial as we did. Okay. And you have preview. So let's put it on auto preview. So this is linear is selected. And then we can also do, let's say we did to the power five. So it's giving us something like this. And we can come in and change the coefficient of of the polynomial. So remember the polynomial is the equation is x to the power a not a zero times x a one times x squared a two times. So you can change these and then see the effect on. So let's change this to hundred or let's change this to 100,000. So you can see the effect of it on, on your data and you can change even the scale of the plot. If you want to plot in a log scale instead of, instead of the linear scale, you can do that and you can choose the minimum. So this is minus 10 to 10. So you can come in and just customize your own fitting. So if you want to go with spectroscopy, and let's choose let's say this one okay and you can change your parameters change everything and set your new output to let's say a new book and hit okay so so now you have this so this is the simulated function Uh, let's zoom out and there you go. You can also come in and double click and go to the workbook. So this becomes the data and it gives you the functions that you chose or the parameters that you chose from it. So that is also a nice tool to have. You can also come into analysis, fitting and simulate a surface as well. So this is kind of a 3D, let's put it on auto preview and let's say you want to, so there are some inbuilt functions that you can do. So let's say you want to do any of these, let's see extreme 2D, you can change it. Let's just go over it and see some of the nice things here. Cosine, you can do Fourier 2D. So you can come in and just simulate some of these and get the data from it. Gaussian 2D. So this is a nice tool to have. You have something like this and you can change the parameters yourself and head over to new, choose a new, let's say book and hit OK. So this is your plot and these are the parameters and you can always get this data and plot them yourself. Let me see if it plotted. I think we didn't plot this. So yeah, we didn't plot this, I guess. Yes, we didn't plot it, but you can always plot this by yourself because you have X, Y and Z. Let's go ahead and do a simple plot. So go to plot head to 3d and then head to let's say color map and you have it and you can this and you can edit this as we have already shown you can come in and edit this yourself as we've already as we've already done so this is a nice tool to have and it's it's great for many 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 things to do So yeah, you can come in and edit this 
yourself it's it's 2d it's not 3d so it doesn't give you the full 3d view but you can edit this yourself so this is also a nice way of also doing some um some simulation on on surfaces and there's a nice tool to have and and do some 2d analysis maybe later origin will add 3d and that will be a game changer i believe so let's keep our fingers crossed